I think that I was bit by a tick as a child. Um, I grew up in Iowa. I was always tired. I was the first one to sleep at slumber parties. I didn't have a lot of energy. I never wanted to run around. I had what my doctor diagnosed as a spider bite on my arm, which I've come to realize um, is what the bullseye rash, if it even appears, is commonly mistaken for. Nervousness, anxiety, a lot of depression as a kid. The mental symptoms increased when I became a teenager, which again, everyone thinks is normal. You're a teenager, you're moody. I was having anxiety attacks and like, I would have an anxiety attack, I would go into a bronchial spasm. I went in the ambulance, I think five times. After my third baby, I never really bounced back. I had no energy, I couldn't play with my kids, I didn't want to go to the pool. I was trying to like lay down and nap, but after my third one was born, I was having a lot of pain in my legs and I had that for a couple years. Summer of 2014, I went to a therapist again for my mental issues. And I was like, oh, you know that pain when you're so tired and it just feels like all of your bones are radiating? And he looked at me and he goes, no, Katie, that's not, that's not how people feel. Sorry. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, finally, after all this. I was on 3,600 milligrams of gabapentin. I had less pain. But I also, like, I couldn't digest food. I was sluggish. I just, I didn't feel like me. And in addition to that, I was also on Cymbalta, which works in your central nervous system. So we were trying to hit the pain in my brain and in my nerves. About six months after I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and I had been doing just some research into possible causes, there's actually another mom at the school my kids attend. Um, who had been diagnosed with Lyme disease. And I have no idea how she found Invita, but I'm incredibly glad that she told me about them. Um, so we had talked that summer, she left for treatment, and two or three weeks after she started her treatment at Invita, she sent me a message on Facebook and she was like, you have to get out here and get tested. I really appreciated the way Invita's model of health was more almost gyroscopic rather than compartmentalized. And they were treating the whole body, not just here's some antibiotics, take these for 10 days, and if you're still sick, well, then you're crazy. The middle of November, 2015, I got on the phone with Dr. Ertley, and he spent probably over an hour in a conference call with my husband and I, going over the test results, telling me what it meant, telling me how he was interpreting my results and then kind of came up with a plan. They accessed my port, got me hooked up, and started my treatments. My nurses explained in so much detail everything that was going on with my body and what kind of side effects I could expect as the treatments began to work and all the bacteria that had been clogging my body started to die. I was really hopeful because I was finally getting this treatment that I had seen the science behind I knew mentally it was gonna work. Of all the symptoms that I had coming in week one, I was exhausted. I woke up in the morning tired. And now week nine, I don't have to take a nap every day. And I'm, my pain is at a zero. And before I was taking 3,600 milligrams of gabapentin and still having pain. And now I'm off of all of my pain meds. I'm off of my Cymbalta and I feel normal again. To me, the word integrative is just synonymous with thorough. And I've never had a physician speak to a whole treatment plan to actually heal my entire body and not just kill off some bacteria. I would be miserable if I hadn't come to Invita. My quality of life was very low. And for me as a parent, that meant that the, my kid's quality of life was very low. And Vita saved my quality of life. I know that if the Lyme disease progressed being in my central nervous system, it would eventually kill me. And now I get to have so many more years, not only to live, but to live pain-free and to live a life and not to just live on my couch directing traffic as my kids grow up around me.